hello guys and welcome to this video this is a quick tutorial on how to install the anaconda platform with python language before we start it's worth mentioning that anaconda is the easiest way to install what you need to start coding in python especially if you are interested in data analysis anaconda includes python and coding interfaces like the jupyter notebook a spider and it can make your coding task easier especially if you need to uh, have an interactive graphical interface meaning you want to directly see the numerical results and the graphical outcome of a part of your code it also comes with the necessary packages and modules that are needed for data science and data analysis so you don't have to install these separately like for example the pandas and the numpy package are already there you don't have to worry about the so many additional installations they all come together in one single installer now some additional libraries might be needed depending on your application for example in our case we are interested in the forex market and the prices predictions and so on so we will need the pandas technical analysis package which provides functions for price and technical indicators like the relative strength indicator the moving average and so on so if you will be developing a trading application this module will make things a lot easier for you however if you intend simply to develop uh, different examples or different applications then you may skip the part uh, adding uh, pandas technical indicators so let's get started first of all you have to go to the anaconda.com web page and you select the products in the list go for the individual edition the open source distribution it will lead you to this page then you have the download button here and here you have to choose your platform your operating system uh, i myself i'm using windows the 64-bit version so you press on this uh, button and you download the file once your file is downloaded you simply have to double click on it to launch the installer and then you follow the steps let's go next and here i'm gonna just install it for my username in this case then you can choose the path where you want to install your platform make sure you have enough space as it requires 2.7 gigabytes of your hard drive and basically you press next and that's it you have to wait for your installer to uh, to finish i'm not gonna do it now because i already installed mine a while ago once your installation is complete you have to go to the start button of windows check for the anaconda navigator and just press on it to launch your uh, your interface it might take some time but once you loaded this your interface should look something like this and as you can see we have the jupyter lab the jupyter notebook and spider these are three interfaces for python coding uh, you might also have noticed that you have other tools like the r studio for r language and other stuff so it's it's really a platform where you can install anything and launch anything that you need for data analysis and data treatment and so on now if you want to launch the uh, Jupyter Notebook, which we will be using in this video, you can simply press launch here. And you don't have actually to come, every time you want to launch the Jupyter Notebook, you don't have to go through the platform. You can simply uh, launch Jupyter Notebook immediately from Windows. Press the, um, the start button, the Windows start button, and you search for Jupyter, and you simply press on Jupyter Notebook. It's going to lead you immediately to Jupyter Notebook. It, it works faster this way. So this is the Jupyter Notebook interface and you can go and navigate your uh, C drive. You can choose any folder, you can create new folders and even create new Python files. And I just navigated uh, to, into uh, an empty folder and this is where I will be pressing new Python 3. And it's going to load my first uh, Jupyter Notebook uh, file. So uh, this is where you can actually you can rename your file. You have to uh, the option to rename it or save a copy or uh, etc. 
and here you can start typing your first program for example i'm gonna just put print my notebook is working i'll launch this shift return and that's it it's working now if you are interested in the pandas ta technical analysis for technical indicators now this is a specific module uh, for forex price technical indicators stock prices specifically for trading if you are interested in this application you have to go to the windows start button and look for the anaconda prompt you have the anaconda prompt it looks something like this and this is where you're going to type pip install pandas underscore ta Okay, here you can observe the, um, the advancement as the package is being downloaded and installed. I already downloaded and installed this one, so you're not going to see much here. But you get the idea. It's very easy. It's very straightforward. You go for pip install pandas underscore TA and it shouldn't be any problems there. And then in order to make sure that our package was installed correctly, I will go back to my Jupyter Notebook and I will try to call some functions from uh, this package. So I'm going to first, I'm going to call the pandas and create an empty data frame. So I imported pandas as PD and my data frame, my DF is equal to So PD dot data frame. So this is an empty data frame. I'm going to run this, make sure there are no errors. And then I will import the pandas technical analysis uh, module as let's say TA. And I'm going to add this line here. I'm going to apply the TA uh, module on the my data frame and I'm going to call the indicators function. And this will provide me the list of the technical indicators that are available in this package in the pandas technical analysis. So you can see something uh, you might be familiar with, like uh, I would say the um, moving averages the SMA, uh, there are also the RSI, the relative strength indicator, which I've used sometimes. And you have other functions like the standard deviation, the slope, and uh, you have really a wealth of, uh, of functions here that you can use for your uh, analysis. Then if you are interested in one specific function and you would like to have some help, you might call the help related to this function. For example, if I'm interested in the average true range, I'm going to call the help of the TA.ATR function. And here we are. You can have the function and then you have the parameters that the function will be taking and some details. You have a link where you can find additional information. You also have, which is very important actually, the default values of the parameters we call the ADR here and it's going to be applied for the last 14 bars in this case you are familiar with the candlesticks i'm going to stop here for this video i hope you guys found this information helpful and see you next time